being made RC. Uh, back with another installation of the A979. It's coming together now um, really well. So we're going to uh, I'm going to do some bits in it today, but first things first, um, received a sticker from RC Voodoo, um, so you can in a second, thanks for your sticker buddy. Um, also want to give a big shout out um, to John Robinson RC, who's been helping me quite a lot recently, he's um, helped me with my new intro that you'll see coming up on my new videos um, it's also been a great help with other things um, so yeah thanks John do appreciate all your help mate um, it's not gonna notice me so right enough soppy stuff let's get back to the N979 so got these big beefy mounts as you've seen in the other videos I've done some but this will be the first time you see it like this um, got the wing on cut some of the arches out to fit the wheels 26 millimeter front phones on here um, 30 millimeters on the back both 35 sure um, hopefully they'll give incredible grip gonna fit the Emax ES3054 servo. So this is what I fit into all my 144001s. Um, comes with an array of connections. Um, you have to actually, if you want to use the connections that come with it. Uh, the only one that I've found that works is uh, this one. And I cut three of the ends off and used the one. And round it off um been using that like that for a while in one of my 144s and it's been brilliant so um yeah i do recommend them uh, i think they're brilliant hope everybody's well today out there um this craziness that we're in at the moment again it's mad isn't it mad time to be alive so perfect fit for the servo holder on the A979 same with the servo holder on the 144001 they, they fit seamlessly um, so what we're going to do here is you've got to line the little prongs up in the chassis um, sometimes easier said than done I always struggle with my 144 to get these on So, there we go. Um, we will use. Oh, I've got a screwdriver. It's <laughs> a good start to the video. Uh, one minute. Let's reach over there. Nope. It's this one. Yep. How to install the servo. Get a screwdriver first, that helps. <coughs> thought I had one. Um, no? Oh well. I'm missing one out of my set. Must be in the house. That's it. So, we've got the servo fitted. Dead easy, two screws. All set. Obviously, I'm not going to put the horn on because I've not got the steering arms on and the steering thing at the top we are also going to install this so this is a 3650 motor just fits nicely um surpass hobby 5200 kv motor that's going in this um because it's going to be the speed run car we thought we'd go big at, big, big at the beginning. So yeah, so we're going to go for this. See what we can achieve with this motor. Hopefully. 
hopefully big big numbers um that's our hoping for anyway. if not just change it for another motor no issue just i'll oh, change the gear in um hoping to have this finished this week because my drive shaft should be here that i'm that i'm using um sorry i'm just looking for the screws i had for the the motor um, them out and now I haven't got them. Ah. Um. So, so I'm putting Allen key head screws in this one. Um, just dead easy. Put the motor in. Locate the holes. I have got the mount there just to give me an idea of where to put the end so plenty of room there so what we're going to do is keep dropping on the floor a little, little bit of blue loctite I know you're all, under the, all watching now going, he's using Loctite. Yeah, I do actually have some, you know. It's just, uh, I like to do my builds. And then, I like to build my cars. And then, once I know everything fits perfect, the lines perfect, snug fitting, everything like that. I then like to go around and nip everything up. Uh, locked out when locked out needs to be. Um, the reason being is if you've ever done it the opposite way and put um, locked out on. And then realise you put something in a in the wrong place. You'll you'll understand where I'm coming from because um, you've got to then remove remove things that have got locked out on. Um, or not as the case of this screw is. So what we're going to do is line it up. Um, yeah, so it's it can be a bit of a catch 22 really because you remove it let's really let me get the screw in here right so yeah so you'll put loctite on you'll fasten everything up and then you'll you'll realize that something doesn't fit so You've already tightened everything up, you've nipped it up, you've got locked out on it, and then oh dear, it that doesn't fit. So then you've got to try and remove not only the Loctite but the screw and everything else. So what I like to do is get everything built up and aligned and running true and working really well. And then I like to tighten everything up and put my lock tight on um just the way i work still got to adjust the the toe into it the, the camber um of the back wheels and when i've put the steering on i'll adjust the fronts uh, we'll do that on camera so if you actually haven't done it before then you could have um it could help you along the way doing it. Uh, hopefully it will. Um, so that's that's servo fitted. Motor fitted. I haven't put the pinion on because I need to know where the gear is going to sit so I can mesh that up. So once I've got the drive shaft in, pinion on, get the top plate in, we can fit the ESC that I've got for this. Um, 
which is nice. I've got a nice ESC for this. Um, gonna leave these the length, but trim down the actual connectors in the ESC to fit this because these are just, these. I don't, obviously, I don't want to cut these down for the others. What I can do is I can run these down here, turn them, run the other ones in. I've got a lot of room here for a battery. I can even remove these these lugs, which will allow for a bit more, but you'll get a decent sized battery in there, get 3S in there, no problem whatsoever. So yeah, I um, hope everybody's liking this this build. Um, I'm enjoying it. Just wish that this dry shaft would hurry up and turn up because then I can just start getting everything finalized and get some run videos in before winter comes. Um, so I'm going to end this video here. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. Um, once again, a big shout out to John Robinson, RC, for helping me out. Um, RC Voodoo, sending me the video, uh, the stickers, and uh, giving me a shout out on his channel. Um, and take care, everyone.